Today we're taking a look at the Doro 7030. This is a Swedish basic phone that is mainly sold in Europe. And I'm going to say that this is one of my favorite dumb phone devices that I have tried from Europe. It does not work very well in the United States, so do not get it for the United States. But if you're outside of the States, even in Canada, it may work for you because the bands are quite adept for that area. But of course, North American devices will work better. So get a Canadian device if you're in Canada. But if you're in Europe, this is an excellent device, great build quality and good app support. Not a lot of things that you can add, but at least you'll have some communication avenues. So the interface is very easy to use. And let's start with a little bit of the hardware. So as you see, it is a flip phone and it does have a camera. It is a serviceable camera. It's nothing super amazing, but it does get the job done. It's not the best camera in the world, but it will get the job done. It does have a dedicated button actually for your camera. And of course you can take pictures uh, and they will be pretty accurate to a certain degree. You'll be able to see them and, you know, kind of get, get a feel of how things look, but it's not going to be amazing. So don't expect anything amazing from this device. Just expect the basics for, you, for your camera. It does have two other indicators, a message indicator, and also a battery indicator. It does have a flash as well. It is micro USB, so no USB-C, a little bit of a bummer, but it does have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and it does work well. It does have a customizable SOS button that you can also call other people or send a distress message or something like that. It doesn't have to call emergency services. Volume rockers, and that's about it. Oh, it does have a charging cradle as well. So it does have connectors here at the bottom, but it works really well. Now the software is really well made. Uh, it does have a couple of apps, two apps, uh, actually, it has WhatsApp and it does have Facebook. So if you want to use those two, you are able to use them. You'll be, be able to log in. It does have Wi-Fi and a lot of the other things. Uh, you're, you have contacts, you have messaging, you do have media where you have, again, that picture that I just took right now, um, which is pretty legible. Uh, it's not amazing, but it does look good. Uh, again, it's not going to be the best camera in the world. It does have a front facing camera as well. For those WhatsApp calls, uh, you can make WhatsApp video calls with this device. Uh, so if you need WhatsApp and you need a more basic device that does not let you access anything else, then this is a good option. It does have a recorder, it has music, it has an FM radio, and it does take videos as well. It does have an organizer, which has calculator, calendar, file manager, and notes. Again, these are good options uh, for basic things. It does not allow you to install any extra applications. And I will show that in just a second. So it does have a browser. It is pretty rudimentary. It's not the best browser in the world. Uh, you'll be able to install a couple of things here and there, but it's not, again, it's not the best thing that you will use. It does have an email client. I did not set it up, um, but I've been able to see that it's essentially a very basic Android email client. Uh, it does have a couple of extra things like a torch uh, to activate the back, of course, right there. You can turn it on and off. And besides that, it's a pretty basic Android dumb phone. It does have network and internet, connected devices, hotspot and tethering. It does have dual SIM. And you can have, of course, the other things like Bluetooth and uh, all of those things like Bluetooth keyboards, mouses, things of that nature in order to make it easier to use. Now, when it comes to messaging, you will have the ability to write messages and group MMS is not a problem, at least from a technical standpoint, since I am not able to test it here in the United States, I will not be able to say whether it does work or not, but I have seen other people on the internet that have said that it does work for group MMS. And of course it's technically capable. Uh, it does have a T9 engine, so right there, hello, you will press space and then continue to whatever the sentence is. It does have a clear delete button right here. So the experience is not, again, super fast, but it does get the job done. Uh, it does have some shortcuts. You're able to kind of create them and customize them as you will, but the phone does have those options available. Now, if you want to install extra applications, I have heard that it is possible, but it requires a little bit more of technical wizardry. So accessing the developer options is not that difficult. So if you press star pound and then 777, then pound, then that way you get access to the developer options and you will be able to have access to OEM unlocking. Uh, you have access to uh, USB debugging, and then from then you will go into a little bit more of 
installing the applications that you need. I tried to install a couple of applications and some of them were successful, but then they got deleted. So I was able to install Spotify on this, but after maybe a couple minutes, it deleted it. So there may be a protocol that you have to get rid of uh, that they installed that says maybe, I don't know, this application is not allowed or something like that. Um, but I have not had the time to look into it. I will look into it further. And if I find any other methods, I will make an update on it. But the device worked well. I actually tested it with WhatsApp and the call quality, at least the speaker and the calls do work well. I was not able to test it through a regular network, but I was able to test it through WhatsApp. Again, those video calls work because of the front facing camera. It does have a back facing camera as well. So you can, you know, switch and share with people different things, uh, but it does work decently well. I do like the device. It actually comes in a very environmentally friendly box, and I think it's a very good option for those of you who are in the UK or in Europe and are looking for a basic device. If you have any questions about this device or any of the other devices that I have reviewed, make sure to put it in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.